From ball gowns to uniforms and more casual looks, this teen drama has never failed to give audiences fashion inspiration. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Gossip Girl outfits. Well, I am here to make dreams come true. Come dance with me. We're taking a look at outfits worn by the female leads throughout this teen drama series. Let's get to it. Number 10, Blair's Marc Jacobs Thanksgiving outfit. Now, why don't you run along and change into something a little more enchanting? While Blair didn't have much to give thanks for during the season one Thanksgiving episode, we were all certainly thankful for her beautifully curated holiday ensemble. How hard is it to pick up the phone? Miss Blair, maybe you pick up phone, call your papa. Maybe he tell you the real story. Everything from the way her thin gold headband matched the color of her Mark by Mark Jacobs baby doll dress to the lace texture of her tights worked to create a soft and seasonally appropriate look. This outfit is a perfect example of Blair's ability to take a modern twist on a classic style. Number 9. Jenny's Fuzzy Tartan Sweater and Grey Knit Dress As Jenny grew up, so did her style. We need to talk. She went from following preppy Constance Billard trends to cultivating her own distinctive and grungy style. Jenny's style began to reflect her inner turmoil as she struggled to find her place within New York social circles. She was constantly torn between the allure of the Upper East Side and the safety of her father's Brooklyn home. This ensemble, worn in episode 10 of season 4, captured all of her signature staples. The tartan, the dark color palette, the tights, and last but not least, the super short hemline. Set during Thanksgiving, the episode dealt with heavy subject matter, and Jenny's outfit definitely contributed to the overall brooding atmosphere. Maybe I did try to trick Serena at the Saints and Sitters party, but I didn't do it alone, and we didn't mean for it to end up like this. We. Number 8. Serena's Grey Lace Ballet Dress When Serena and her Columbia professor turned lover Colin Forrester show up to the New York City Ballet, tensions are high. Serena's outfit, comprised of a grey lace gown with tulle and bead detailing, certainly matched the drama of the evening. The composition of the gown is stunning. Now it's our turn. From the high-low details to the sheer lace, we can't help but sympathize with Dan as he stares at her from afar. This gown shows how Serena's style has evolved from her earlier bohemian days into something more elegant yet still carefree. Hey Dan, I don't know where you are right now, but I just got back to my place. I was wondering if we could meet. Number 7. Serena's Wedding Dress How is she? Oh, great. Not nervous at all. I am. I need a drink. <laughs> Serena's beautiful gold Georges Chakra wedding dress is reminiscent of the gold dress that she wore on her first date with Dan. The couple's relationship certainly evolved throughout the series, but this subtle nod to their origin signifies that their feelings for each other have been pure and passionate since the beginning. The dress encapsulates the sentiment perfectly because, while the design is somewhat minimalist, it's still breathtakingly beautiful. Serena has always been known for her simple and ethereal beauty, so it makes total sense that she would opt for this dress on her special day. Number 6. Prom Outfits Vote for prom king and queen? We don't do prom queen. That's for suburban schools and the lame teen comedies that are set at them. We're doing it this year. At almost every high school, prom is a time for students to dress their best. For the students of Constance Billard School for Girls and St. Jude School for Boys, that statement rings exceptionally true. When Blair waltzed into the dance wearing an extravagant black and gold Marquesa gown, the audience immediately knew that she was meant to be Constance's prom queen. You made it! Yeah, there was a last minute change of plans. Yeah, I sprung around the pokey. You can, you can thank me later. Well, I just spent 10 seconds talking to you, so consider yourself repaid. In fact, the gold detailing on her gown perfectly complemented her golden prom queen crown. Serena, on the other hand, went for a more understated yet ethereal choice. Her glistening halter gown was topped off with floral hair accessories, a look that perfectly captured Serena's fun and carefree energy as she danced the night away with Dan. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I can't believe Blair won. Number 5. Serena and Blair's Matching Backless Dresses Nothing quite says friendship like matching outfits. While Blair and Serena have had their fair share of ups and downs throughout the series, we knew that their friendship was made to last when we saw them running together around New York in stolen Eleanor Waldorf backless dresses. 
While Serena opted for a red version and Blair opted for blue, both girls looked equally stunning. As much as a BFF can make you go WTF, there's no denying we'd all be a little less rich without them. The bold colors of the dresses matched with the girls' beaming smiles as they took photos with each other around New York landmarks for an impromptu photo shoot. Without you, I'm nothing. Gossip girl. Number 4. Serena and Blair's White Party Outfits Talk about white hot. Blair and Serena have proven time and time again that they can rock any theme, and the all-white dress code at the Hamptons summer party was no exception. Keep me drunk. Absolutely. Blair, ever the preppy fashion icon, chose to wear a short halter neck eyelet dress paired with an iconic floral headband and heels. You've been using me to make that guy jealous. I have not. It's no wonder you hate charade. It hits too close to home. You don't understand. Meanwhile, Serena went for the full Grecian goddess look with her long, flowy maxi dress, silver accessories, gold heels, and a tousled updo. No, I, I didn't expect to see you. you. You completely surprised me. Well, I have to say, you didn't. These contrasting outfits perfectly represented Blair's tendency towards more classic styles and Serena's preference for a more carefree aesthetic. Number 3. Serena's Gold Cotillion Dress while Serena has had her fair share of gold gowns throughout the series, from her wedding dress to her Studio 54-inspired look, her cotillion dress remains one of the most memorable. <laughs> oh, wow, you look incredible. Cotillion balls are a means of introducing young women into high society. While Serena was definitely a part of the Upper East Side elite, she vehemently rejected a lot of the societal expectations placed upon her. Serena Vanderwoodson wants to work for the Junior League and have two children. It's a society ball, Serena. You have to represent yourself well. How is it representing myself well if it's all lies? This flashy dress, with its tight bodice and elaborate floral ruching, certainly made sure that Serena stood out amongst her more traditional peers. The gold was an especially clever choice because it represented Serena's vibrancy and reminded her grandmother that Serena was not one to be dulled down. Sorry. Miss Isabel Coates, presented by Raymond North. Number 2. Blair's Red Ruffled Oscar de la Renta Gown No. I can't do any more of these Prince and Popper games. Blair's red ruffled Oscar de la Renta gown captures her personality more accurately than words ever could. Monsieur Grimaldi would want me to be sure it was perfect. It represents her passion, flair for the dramatic, fiery temperament, and perhaps most prominently, her love for Chuck. She wears this gown during a dramatic confrontation with Chuck at the Gare du Nord train station in Paris. As the two of them stand above the train tracks, we see Blair's dress in its full glory. Her elaborate outfit is juxtaposed against Chuck's unusually plain ensemble. However, this is indicative of the fact that despite their differences, they make a beautiful pair. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. Blair's red dress is breathtaking, but our number one pick is even more beautiful. But before we get there, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Jenny! You should come to the village with us. Uh, yeah. What are you guys doing sitting up here? Her heart doesn't really seem in it. You think this will be us in 20 years? Onto our fourth husbands? A girl can dream. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave. Chuck, today I had to identify a body that the police thought was you. Did you do something to that man? If, if it was self-defense, I'm sure that they would understand. I never touched that thief. It's okay, I can do it. The question isn't if you can do it, Jenny, it's if you should have to. I'm going there anyway. Okay. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Blair's Second Wedding Dress Mrs. Grimaldi, what is going on? Is this happening? From the second Blair said yes to Chuck's marriage proposal, we were all eagerly awaiting to see what the Upper East Side fashionista would wear on her second big day. While her first wedding to Prince Louis was picture-perfect, complete with a sparkling tiara and white Vera Wang wedding gown, viewers knew that it was far too safe and traditional a choice for Blair. Chuck and Blair's relationship is anything but ordinary, a fact that is perfectly captured by Blair's second wedding dress. 
From the intricate beadwork to the delicate blue shade, Blair's custom Ellie Saab dress encapsulates both her classic style and her penchant for flair. And by the power vested in me by the great state of New York, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Ugh, only Blair could pull off a blue wedding dress. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.